today we teach you how to seat balance. Welcome back to another set like off-road school riding tip and today we want to talk about the seat bounce. A little bit of an advanced technique but really helpful if you're trying to clear tabletops or doubles out of a tight turn. Number one when it comes to seat bouncing, as the name says, it's a seat bounce. You're sitting down as the bike is taken off. If you watched our jumping video that we posted a couple of weeks ago, I uh, was talking about making sure to stand up as you approach your jump. That's a beginner technique when you're new to jumping, seat bouncing being more advanced. Now you're sitting down to compress your suspension as you're going up and give yourself a little bit more lift. So when you're sitting down, you want to make sure you sit in the front part of your seat, like right here. You don't want to sit back here because as you accelerate, all your weight's going to go on the bike. The shock's completely going to compress. And as soon as you let off, that shock's going to give you the bounce in seat bounce to get the height and the width to clear the jump. If you're sitting here, that bike's going to decompress, throw you forward, pull your feet off the foot pegs and get you in trouble because you're going on the bars really quick. So now you're sitting in the front part of the bike, like right here. You need to make sure that you're in a gear that has power. You need a snappy bike the moment you want a seat bounce because it needs to be aggressive and give you a good little punch. So usually on most bikes, that second gear, sometimes on the 450 you can get it done in third, but you use the seat bounce coming out of tight, slow corners. So especially on the 250, it's second gear and you want to make sure there's traction when you get on the gas really aggressive. You don't want to lose the rear end while you're taking off. So. Again, you're looking forward, you're sitting in the front of the bike and as you're going up the up ramp now, you're accelerating again as hard as you can, putting your weight, all your weight on the seat, your feet are on the pack, keep keeping your bike tight again with your legs, full acceleration and then you will feel the bike compressing and as you take off, it will decompress and you can bring your chest forward to balance the bike out. The last thing if you're going into seat bouncing, again, find yourself a smaller jump with a pretty mellow lip. You don't want to seat bounce something that's super steep if you don't know what you're doing because on a steep jump the bike will really preload and it will really give you a good old huckabuck um, if you're in the wrong position. So find a small jump, uh, again that's forgiving just like when you're starting to jump and work on your seat bouncing there. This is it guys, this is how you seat bounce your motocross bike, a little bit of an advanced technique, so uh, make sure when you go out there you're ready, make sure you sit in the front, this is the most important part, I cannot stress this enough, if you sit in front of the bike, uh, you're in a pretty safe spot and nothing should go wrong, so let us know how you like this riding tip, let us know how you like these more advanced riding tips, and we will keep recording them. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you in next week's video.